All right, y'all, so let me show you how you're going to install your Jesse Dean JDD PT-01 Scratch Fader 1.3 version. Okay, so first off, of course, you're going to have to take all of the screws off the, out of the bottom of your uh, PT-01 Scratch. Once you do that, you're going to want to um, take out these two screws here for the scratch switch. Now see, the cool thing about this is now we have an actual fader inside the PT-01. So if you're like me, you know, you were, you know, I was cool with the scratch switch, but sometimes it just wasn't cutting the mustard. You know what I mean? Like it just, you just couldn't get nasty on it like, like you really, really wanted to because of that toggle motion. You know, you weren't hitting them chirp flares correctly, or it was just, it was lagging. It was kind of, you know, it was um, hindering your performance. So anyway, that's going to come out, okay? So let's pull out the switch here. Simple and easy. Now you have your little connector here. You're just going to pull that out real quick, okay? And tuck that right back in. When we lift this up, you're actually going to see, let me move this up real quick, this actual plate right here that's held in with this uh, screw, this Phillips screw. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this plate out, okay? We don't need that plate no more, okay? I'm just putting this screw back just because, you know, I don't want to lose it, but uh, it's not necessary. And screw it, I'll do that later. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're actually going to take your Jesse Dean fader here, and there's a little, um, like a notch right here that you're going to uh, set this in. So um, I kind of marked let me put a little black mark here and here to let me know where exactly I'm going to drop it in at. But as you can see, it's just going to go straight into that little notch right there. So, let's see here, maybe I could move this a little closer. Okay, so you see how it just drops directly in? Just like that, right into that little notch. Alright, and that's basically all you're going to do there. You're going to take the little uh, four pin connector and you're going to hook it directly to the Jesse Dean fader. Okay. Now, from there, you're going to move this down here. You're going to don't you dare fall on me. Sorry guys. This is kind of a rough edit here. You're going to take your plate and oops, it comes with a sweet Jesse Dean plate here and then you're just gonna put that right over the top and then you're gonna take these two screws that you originally took out of the original plate and you're gonna directly screw them right into the top here but I think I'm gonna leave the plate out just for now just so I can kind of show you guys what this is gonna look like from the inside here Okay, so I know a lot of you are probably wondering how in the world are we going to be able to cut if, um, you know, we're uh, righties or, you know, left hand on the fader. Well, I am here to tell you that it is completely possible to do, and I will show you exactly how. To do it once I get this screwed back in. Okay, so so now we got the switch in, ready to go. This thing is super smooth, guys. Um, and let's see here. Big up DJ Focus for the uh, slip mat. 
So I got Jesse Dean right here on the fader, DJ Focus on the slip mat. Yo, I'm just supporting, you know what I mean? Supporting this uh, turntable movement. So I'm always down to support those that uh, are willing to support the, uh, the community as well. So let's turn this bad boy on. Okay. And just like the uh, regular Jesse Dean fader, Oh, let's get let's get a let's get a an actual uh, knob on there. It does actually cut out on both sides. You know what I mean? Okay, so for those of you who are saying, well, what if I cut with my left hand on the fader? How am I going to scratch with this? Because it's screwed in, can't, can't adjust it. Well, check this out. All you gotta do, turn it. Since it cuts on both sides. So, once again, y'all, Jesse Dean does it again. Shout out to Jesse Dean, man, for always coming up with some great products. He's always listening to the DJs, um, always willing to, to help out as well. He's helped me with a few modifications on some things. So, I definitely, like I said, I want to shout out to uh, Jesse Dean. Not too sure when these are going to actually be available for purchase. Um, this is kind of like a little... Um, I don't want to say prototype, but you know, because this is what it's gonna look like. But um, I was fortunate enough to get one of these kind of uh, early, so pre-release. So once again, big up to uh, Jesse Dean on that. I, I much appreciated, man. And uh, yeah, this is it, man. I, I ain't never gonna have to go back to uh, any of them other faders now. I, I, I'm set for life <laughs> on this PT01 now. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be easy to uh, clean and maintain. You can still clean the bars. You can still, you know, clean the, the uh, board with some rubbing alcohol. And uh, you know, still lube up the bars if you want, but it is pretty smooth now. So anyway, I uh, told you guys that I have something big, some big announcements. So this is one of the announcements and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos. And once again, shout out to all of the uh, innovators out there that have um, helped push the DJ culture, especially the portable culture. You know, Jesse Dean, uh, DJ Focus, you know, you guys have definitely uh, done a lot for the culture. Um, you know, and I know there's a lot more guys out there, but um, you know, I, if I didn't mention your name, you still are very, very appreciated. So uh, peace out for now.